Hello everyone, this is Rukshika Rajkumar from Arduino Projects by R and today I'm here in my new video. In this video, I'll present you the unboxing of the Google Coral Development Board, which is a single board computer with edge tensor processing unit. And I'll also give you a review and an overview of the tech specifications. So this is a single board computer with an attached edge tensor processing unit system on module SOM. To get started you can visit this website address and this pack includes an edge TPU development board which is the base board and system on module. Uh, it does not include the USB type C power supply but you will be needing one for the edge TPU development board. The supported operating system is Debian Linux and supported machine learning framework is TensorFlow Lite. So as soon as you open the box you'll see a friendly manual. And you can see the same thing over here, get started at g.co slash coral. Google AI principles guide all of our work. We hope they'll guide your work too. See them at ai.google slash principles. So here you can see a short introduction about the board. The Edge Tensor Processing Unit Development Board allows you to build embedded systems that use the HTP for fast machine learning inferencing. The base board provides all the peripheral connections you need to prototype your system. The SOM is removable so you can integrate the complete system on chip and Edge Tensor Processing Unit into your own hardware. To get started, follow the instructions at g.co slash coral. Here you can see a label diagram of the Google Coral AI development board and this is the back side of the board. So the Google Coral AI development board is packed inside an electrostatic pouch. Let's take that out. So this is the Google Coral AI development board and you can see a heatsink and a cooling fan. We've got so many ports over here and, and a GP IO pin header. We've also got an audio jack. We can see a micro SD card slot. And camera connectors. You can find the system on module beneath the heatsink. This is the HDMI 2.0 port and this is the USB-C port for data communication. You'll be using this port for power. You'll be needing a USB-C cable for that and this is a headphone jack 3.5 millimeter. This is a 4-pin stereo terminal and for LAN we have an Ethernet port here and then we have a USB-A 3.0 host and here we have a micro B USB port for serial console. This is a 40-pin GPIO header. As I already said, this is a micro SD card slot. And this will be used to connect to the DSi display while this will be used to connect to the CSI2 camera. We have the dimensions here. The width of this board is 85 millimeter and the length of this board is 56 millimeter. So now let's see the tech specifications. The Google Coral AI development board has an NXP IMX8M system on chip which is a quad Cortex A53 and the Cortex M4F. Cortex M4F is the core with an FPU. 
And this Google Coral AI development board uses an integrated GC7000 Lite graphics for the GPU. And for the ML accelerator, this will be using a Google HTP coprocessor for Terra operations. The RAM will be 1 GB LPDDR4 and the flash memory is 8 GB EEMC. You can also use the micro SD slot. The types of wireless connection in this board are Bluetooth 4.2 and Wi Fi 2x2 multiple input, multiple output connection. This type of connection can be found in iPhone XR models. This is a 39 pin FFC connector for MIPI DSI display, 4 lane. And this is a 24 pin FFC connector for MIPI CSI2 camera. 4 lane. As I already mentioned, you can use the development board to prototype your embed system and then scale to production using the onboard core system on module SOM combined with your custom PCB hardware. It performs high speed machine learning inferencing. The onboard HTP core processor is capable of performing 4 trillion operations, also known as terror operations, per second using 0.5 watts for each TOPS. It provides a complete system as this is a single board with system on chip, machine learning and wireless connectivity all on the board running a derivative of Debian Linux which we call Metal. So you can run your favorite Linux tools with this board. It supports TensorFlow Lite as already mentioned in the package and the models can be compiled to run on the HTPU. It also supports Auto Machine Learning Vision Edge which you can use to easily build and deploy fast high accuracy custom image classification models. For the in-depth review and to learn how to use this board, please follow the link in the description box. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the unboxing and review videos of many other microcontrollers and development boards. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that already and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, like and share.